Hello, beautiful world. So, last time you saw me, I was pretty much just dealing with my broken toes. Uh, that was the last video um, that you saw on this channel. And if you followed me on Instagram, you followed me through the hospital and stuff. So here's an update. So first, because of my broken toes, um, when my mom got home, the, she was able to keep the door unlocked. Um, so we called the ambulance, uh, found out that uh, my last, my third and fourth uh, toe on my left foot were broken because I was right. I knew I was right that it was broken. My mom was just like, oh, no, you just have your toe. Oh. No, it was broken because I was right. So, anyway, so I dealt with that. They gave me like a walking cast, uh, a boot cast to deal with that. Um, pretty much nothing really exciting. Um, I then had an appointment uh, because that was the same hospital where I had the surgery and had an appointment with the surgeon that dealt with my stuff. So basically he decided on giving me the walking cast because that would be fine. Uh, and, then, um, and then they took off the cast that I had, the purple cast, the fiberglass cast. So they took that off and he said that I can uh, lightly walk on it and he uh, let me keep the weird sandal shoe thingy. But the surgeon gave me the walking cast uh, pretty much I think after I was um, on the way to go to the other hospital. But anyway, so. Uh, I couldn't really walk because it was so painful, so I was in bed all the time. They kept me in the hospital for a while until they pretty much uh, transferred me to another hospital so that, um, so that way they could figure out what was going on with my seizures while I was having so many and that maybe they could fix it or something. So it turns out that I'm also having sleep seizures because I had a few of those while I was in the EMU, which is Epilepsy Monitoring Unit. Um, I didn't know that. So apparently I have sleep seizures as well. So I made a bunch of cool friends at the EMU uh, and one really, really cool friend. So, one of my friends uh, ended up having a seizure after his seizure because I was stuck in bed and not able to walk or anything and his, he had the same seizures that I do when uh, I have grand mal seizures, turning of the head. So uh, I saw that he was turning his head uh, like I do. And I tried to yell for help, but I guess nobody could hear me because everybody was talking, whatever. So, um, yeah, he had the seizure and he hit his head on uh, the edge of his bed because he was sitting in a chair. And I got all upset because I wasn't able to stand or like run over to him to stop him from falling. So I pretty much like the nurses came in to help him eventually. Um, and I got upset because I wasn't able, like I saw the warning signs and I wasn't able to run over and stop him from falling so I got really really upset for not being able to help and then I ended up having a seizure I think like an hour uh, after his seizure um, or yeah I think it was an hour. So my, my friend um, yeah, he, um, that was the first time, like, he ever saw a grandma seizure, and, and also the second time because he was, like, sitting beside me when I started to have mine, so, yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting, um, 
I didn't stay too long. I think it was like a week later I was discharged or something. Uh, I got some physio while I was in the EMU uh, to help me walk. So I, I pretty much just used a walker and I had like a anti-fall mat thing and rubber things on my bed. Uh, so like to prevent any like injuries and yeah, I pretty much used a walker. Uh, once I was able to actually put some weight on my foot, um, but that took that took quite a while. And I was already in uh, the first hospital for like a week or two or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, but I mean, eventually, you know, I just uh, when I was discharged, I came home. And I pretty much stayed in bed trying to heal, using the walker, and you know, trying, trying to be as independent as possible, but not really, you know. Uh, but also uh, trying to get out as much as possible with my friends and you know, trying to actually enjoy summer. The physio at the EMU actually suggested that as soon as I get home, if I have, you know, a swimming pool nearby, then I should, uh, you know, exercise in the swimming pool, try to do some exercises that she showed me in the swimming pool so that I can build strength in my feet, you know. Pretty much that's it. That's what I've been dealing with. Doctor's appointments, the surgeon mostly. Um, now it's already uh, past my birthday. Today is the 22nd, and um, I had an appointment yesterday with him. He says that I'm all healed in my ankle and my foot's all fine, so I can actually walk uh, on my own. Um, but if I do walk anywhere, it has to be with sneakers so I got sneakers special sneakers and they've got like orthotics in them so that uh, it helps with my balance and it also uh, reduces a lot of the pain because I still have a lot of pain in my right ankle where the steel plate is and all the screws so that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much the update like um, I mean I've been I've been hanging out with my friend um, been hanging out with with him uh, a few times. Uh, oh, um, I went on August tenth. I went to Vegan Nail Festival uh, with my sister, and then I went to go visit my friend because uh, I brought him a, an Italian sub, and he's Italian, so like, and he actually liked it. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, um, my uh, my friend uh, from Epilepsy Toronto, she got me a boat cruise for my birthday, like on my birthday, uh, August seventeenth. It was pretty cool. Um, I was really tired because I. The boat cruise was like four hours long. Uh, we went around the Toronto Islands. I got some really cool footage of that. That's gonna be on my vlog channel. Um, but yeah, I did overdo it. I danced for two hours straight and then, or like maybe two and a half hours. And then for the rest of the boat ride, I was pretty much just sitting down talking to uh, my other friend uh, who I found who, I, who the girl friend from Epilepsy Toronto actually found and brought to me and was like, oh my god, you know, this is gonna be so cool for her birthday. So uh, he and I hung out and like uh, sat and talked and we basically just talked to <laughs> and agreed that we are too old to be out this late and that we should be sleeping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we agreed about that, that was for sure. Um, he's only like a few years older than me, but yeah, but he's from my vegan group, and oh man, like, 
my feet were on fire. I shouldn't have been dancing for like over two hours straight. That's not good when I got home. Actually, I was left over at my friend's place. So like when I got there, my feet were like red, red on the bottom. And like my, my surgery scar was like, um, didn't open or anything, just it, I knew I overdid it. Next day it was like all swollen and everything, so yeah, having surgery on your feet. Uh, don't, don't overdo it. Don't, just make sure you don't because it's not fun. Especially the next day you try to walk, you know, it's just totally painful and like it was, my foot was super swollen. I like, the key word is try, try because you're, it feels like you're walking on needles because uh, it was that painful. Um, yeah, so don't, if you ever have surgery, don't overdo it uh, because like I just said, it's not fun. Yeah, so my dad's birthday was recent and I'm sending all the love to my daddy. Hope he has uh, the best luck and I hope that he has all the good fortune um, I have had a few uh, appointments this week having appointments next week um, going, going to hang out with my friend again and then on the Sunday we're going to visit my sister up north and we're going to spend time up there with the dogs. I think the dogs are really going to enjoy it because, you know, it's out in the wilderness and they'll actually get to run around and uh, Zena will get to play with her sister and her mom and Debbie will get to play with his sister and his other niece and Debbie, Debbie's uh, passed out right now but like, whatever. Zena's just watching him sleep like a creep, just like staring at him. She's she's really weird. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much all the update I have for you right now. I love you guys so so much. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays, my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day, and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.